need you guys to come back up here. Wait, sit. Just trust me, okay? I need you guys back here now. Wait a minute, what am I looking at? This figure here. Whoa, is that? It gets ugly in a hurry. Is that figure right? Looks pretty right to me. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Manu Ogu. I am a creative director and a storyteller. Um, I make these videos and um, you guys blew my mind away with our last video on Ifa Yuba versus Cosmos Maduka. I was honestly expecting, you know, a few hundred views, but um, as of the last time I checked, we had almost 3,000 views in less than two weeks. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, thank you very much. I've never honestly had this much views in my life before. Aww. These videos take a lot of time and effort and energy and data to make, you know. So it really means a lot to me that people are watching, people are liking, people are commenting, people are subscribing. On our topic today, we are taking a look at Nigeria's greatest con artist, Nigeria's biggest Yahoo boy, Hush Puppy, baby here yeah. um when hush puppy got arrested sometime last year sorry sometime in 2020 it was the biggest headline it made news all over the world yeah so it generated a lot of controversy and even today if you go online there's so much material online on hush puppy so you can bet that we'll have a good time listening to this story um because of how vast and how big it is because of how much content there is i've splitted the video into three parts three parts um the beginning which is the background in onoshoki where he grew up his rise in malaysia and his fall in dubai you see him grow literally up until the point you know that he gets caught now just to be clear i am not a yahoo boy I have no affiliations with Yahoo Boys. Don't scam people. This is not financial advice. Personally, I think that Hush Puppy should stay in jail. If you do the crime, you do the time, baby. Plain and simple. But it doesn't stop us from exploring the motivation behind his rise and eventual downfall. Yeah, with no further ado, let's hit the road rolling. So it's the early 2000s. You are a Nigerian kid growing up in a ghetto, Oworoshoki in Lagos, Nigeria to be precise. You are a super sharp guy, a hustler, an entrepreneur. But you spent your childhood growing up seeing your parents struggle to make ends meet. You have a sister that you love so much and together you live in a face me I face you next to your father who is a taxi driver and your mother who sells bread for a living. So naturally your opportunities are limited. Naturally, your education is limited. Naturally, your dreams are limited. In fact, at first, even though you were a hustler, your dream in life was to own two motorcycles, a commercial bus, and to marry the daughter of a food vendor. Before, my dream in life was to have like two Okada and one downfall. It was the definition of success to me at one point in my life. I was only dreaming of um, if Dolphy Dwan make her get to Okada where they deliver every night. If I think get one down food, and at the dates like one Yalama la Pekin, food steady, everything, she's have the sick money for sure. It used to be our dream at one point in our life. Congratulations, you are creme de la creme of poverty. What, what's his name? <laughs> that is the funny part. His name is Hush Poppy. Join together. Nobody knows the meaning. There, there's just something about him. He's just a smart chap. There's a lot about him. In fact, he has contracts with the devil. Meanwhile, your relationship with Iyala Malapikin starts to take off. No, 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 wrong song. Let's try this again, guys. Take two. So your relationship starts to take off with Iyala Malapikin. She was the oh shit. Beautiful, intelligent, had big bon bon, can advise you. Bad boy. She was everything you wanted and more. 
You're going to have to stop getting into trouble if you want to keep talking to me or seeing me. Okay, ma. And you also had a best friend. Let's call him Sekiru. Sekiru isn't as smart as you are. He isn't as ambitious. He's a dumb fuck if we're being honest. But he was loyal. And you just needed to show him the light. How much is this? To open his eyes. But just a few months ago, two things happened that would change your life forever. First, you discovered the internet. A magical world where you can talk to anybody, anywhere, anytime through this thing called Yahoo. Everyone was doing it. The boys in your area were apparently cashing out big time. I don't fire for police work. Show, 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 show me the way. Me too, I, I want to do Yahoo. Hey, the banks were doing it, politicians were doing it, parents were doing it, celebrities were doing it, everyone was doing it. This guy sold an entire airport. But you knew better, you were smarter, you had principles. So you totally ignored it. Two, you discovered Lagos Island, the Nigerian haven for billionaires, situated right next to your ghetto, and everything in you changed. Strolling through Victoria Island, Lekki, Ikoi and Banana Island, you are shocked at first. Appalled, indignant, how could people live in such luxury, such opulence? But your indignation quickly turns to admiration. They wore expensive designers, drew fancy cars, lived in mansions, got all the girls, had all the money, they played golf, looked so successful, people respected them, and right next to it all, you guessed it, or on a shoki. I used to go to the island. I saw how people lived. You know, majority of the people on the island are stuck with the island. They don't see there's another side to life. If you go, if you go, if you leave the mainland for a bit, there's more to life on the island. You understand? A lot of people didn't care. A lot of people didn't even have any business on the island. They were stuck with the mainland. You understand? Then I started going there. I realized. Cars that we were not dreaming of even having in our life. You understand? We are using it to carry children to school to go and drop them on the island. So you think to yourself, there has to be another way. This can't be my life. I don't want to be ever poor again. You make a commitment that you are going to rise up the ladder even if the world turned its back on you. It didn't matter that even if it was the last thing you did, that even if the government pretended that you and your little ghetto don't exist, you would prove them all wrong. Meanwhile, back home, your sister just died of typhoid. Your parents, struggling to make ends meet, pay rent and put food on the table, were unable to pay the 3,500 naira situated for medical fees. 3,500 naira. Or seven dollars. That was what the worth of your sister was life. And that resulted in her death. It just did not make sense. What the actual fuck? At this point, your morals are out the window. You want to make money. You want to make money After fast. all, the ones at the top are far from honest. So why should I be honest? And so you start to spend a lot more time in cyber cafes. It was time to study the business. Google was your friend. You watch, you learn, you rinse and you repeat. If the world was going to push you, you were going to choke them. And choke them hard. You talk to Yalaman and Pekin. I am a businessman and I'm going to make a lot of money. Very soon. The kind of money that you would like to come around. You call Sekiru. I'm working on something. And I will need you. You call your guys together and lay out the plan. I know they don't look like much, but you are in charge. You had one philosophy. Go big or go home. This is me. Head of operation. I am in charge. You had saved up enough to purchase a passport and a visa. Your destination? Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. If we do these things very well, we are heading straight to the top. You give it to Yalamal and Pekin one last time. You will travel to Malaysia to learn the business. You are going to become the biggest Yahoo boy ever and then send for them. Well, it's been real. Good luck. You have my email and my number. Call me the second you get there. 
I'm going to miss you so much because I love you. I watch to the end club thank you very much if you've stuck with me this far you are a superstar if you liked what you just watched let me know what you think in the comment section yeah if you're new here please join the community like and subscribe um, i'm trying to get monetized this year and for that to happen i need a thousand subscribers um, last i checked we are at 200 you know so i need 800 more of you superstars to subscribe and join the community um, we'll be releasing a lot more of these kinds of videos if you are a creative maybe this is a very good point actually to to introduce <clears throat> massive shout out to our sponsors on a film Nollywood's largest digital film community um, the vision is long-term to be able to upgrade the quality of Nollywood films with our storytelling by technically and financially upskilling young fellow African storytellers like yourself watching. You know, so if you are a creative, if you are a Nollywood buddy like myself, you know, if you like movies or you just generally want to see the Nollywood industry grow, this is the place to be. You know, smash that subscribe button and join the community. It's a very new company. In fact, we're yet to launch, but it doesn't stop you from joining the community. Follow us on Instagram as well at Onefilm. Um, at this point, I'd like to give a very big shout out to Gabriel Afolaya. Um, I think he's a very prolific actor. He's one of Nollywood's most underrated actors, in my opinion. Um, what's even better is the movies he stars in. You know, they are always excellently direct directed. Um, the directors, the director of, you know, Hanatu, which is one of the movies used here, um, Kulia Folaya, the directors of Gone, and the directors of Coming from Insanity, Akinyemi, Sebastian, and Ademino Khan. You know, they know exactly what they're doing. They know the cannonball they have in their hands, and they use him to the fullest. Thank, shout out to everybody else who are featured in this movie. Unfortunately, I can't, you know, um, put out all the credits but you know if you see yourself you're a superstar you know you're a community member thank you very much um once again if you haven't liked if you haven't subscribed please like and subscribe drop a comment it really helps if you drop a comment below that way the youtube algorithm god can favor us yeah and blow up this video once again i'll see you again next week